have been like crystal please tell me a good series to watch that is documentary style and unfortunately there's just not a ton of like legit good ones out there and although this one is a reenactment kind of show it's really pretty freaking good we don't know how authentic and realistic and credible that the people are that are sharing their stories but it's really good. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and I just want to do a quick review on Monsters and Mysteries in America. This is a show that's on Destination America and they actually came out with so they cover everything from reptiles in California that are supposedly living underground to the Mothman to Chupacabras to Black Eyed Children. The unsealed Monsters and Mysteries is in its second season, and this is stuff that just can't be solved. So the very first one they had, which is in America, it was really good. I liked it a lot. It kind of takes you on the most haunted areas or places with the most sightings. Sometimes it's paranormal related, sometimes it's UFO related. Although it is more of like partial reenactment, but the producers are also interviewing whoever went through, you know, meeting Mothman. Sometimes they do have real life footage from the incident, sometimes they don't. I thought it was really great because honestly we don't know even sometimes the little tales that are from like tiny towns in God knows where in the middle of God knows where. So that's why I liked it. It kind of brought a little bit of history to places that I'd never been before. Like I said, I don't know how credible the people are that are on it. It is filmed very raw style. I did look up a couple of the people that were on, you know, sharing their stories, and they do exist. So that tells me it's not completely stretched. There are quite a few episodes of it. There's a couple episodes I can say that I was not a fan of, just because my favorite is, of course, ghost hunting, and it's not all ghost hunting episodes. It's even, ha it's even had, like, some zombie ghost episodes that were mixed in there. So some things I'm just not super interested in, but you guys might like it like I did. I got a little bit addicted to the series. I kind of watched it from front to back one night. It just happened to be rerunning for like two days. And so I caught up on most of the episodes. Even with the reenactments, it was really good. It wasn't cheesy. Um, it didn't make you like laugh as like, this is so fake. It was nothing like that. So if you guys are looking for a good series, try Monsters and Mysteries in America. Now the new series that they just came out with the same production company, I've only watched a couple episodes from it so far. It's more when they put like crime detective work into things like UFOs and ghost hunting and you know if certain things would have happened today, how would it have you know affected the crime ratio if they were if they were actually you know, breaking it down as a crime or whatever happened. I found it a little bit boring, to be honest. It's not shot the same way as Monsters in America. You guys will have to try it out for yourself. I do believe everyone's very credible in Unsealed. I just found it to be a little bit boring. If you guys have any requests or comments on Monsters in America, please let me know below. What did you guys think about the series? Have you seen it? I thought it was pretty fun. It's different, it's shot a little bit different, and I think that that's what we needed in the community right now. But anyways, I will catch you guys next time. We're back from dead.